You may have noticed I have taken a lot of YouTube sponsorships in the past because I just cannot get enough money. I want to have enough money in my bank account so it inflates to the point that I have to open up another bank account. And one of the companies I've worked with recently is Aerop. 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 Aerop Flavor Pod. Now, I did the sponsor, got paid, but how good actually is AirUp? And as we know, on YouTube, there are so many videos that are so quick to attack sponsors that YouTubers work with. Like, for example, is Raid Shadow Legends any good? So I want to put it to the test by watching a video that is very critical of AirUp that hasn't been sponsored, and then my actual opinions of it, someone who has been sponsored by them. But I just want to say I'm not sponsored by them anymore. I'm actually now allowed to freely speak my mind. And believe me, even though like I like the product, I have a lot of issues with it. Now, th this is from a YouTuber called uh, Hippiotech. He mostly does like keyboards and stuff like that. He seems like a very talented creator. I don't know anything about keyboards. I'm not going to comment on that, but the guy follows me on Twitter, so I'm going to say he's a nice guy. As we know, like so many of these videos do well where they're like attacking a brand. You know, there you go. Red Shadow Legends is a terrible game. That's Three million views. To... It's so easy to attack YouTuber sponsored brands, right? What, what I wanted to do is actually give this guy's video a watch because he's trying error. And I, I actually want to see like if he's being honest or if he's being like a bit of a react Andy, because I'm assuming he's going to be quite negative because he hasn't been paid by them. Okay, I, I, I do want to say they paid me a lot of money. Good Money. This is not sponsored. This is not like me as a shill going in against an anti shill. Like my contract with them is done. I've got the money. I've been paid. I, I bought a yacht with the money. But obviously now I'm not sponsored by them. I'm able to speak my mind, right? So I think this is really interesting because so many people attack like uh, YouTube sponsors. But what if like we watch it and then because I'm someone that's consumed the product, like is it fact or cap, right? Let's let's give this video a watch. I tried air up. <coughs> so. You don't have to. You okay, I can already tell this is going to be a negative experience. He is not going to be enjoying this product, I think. YouTube water bottle promotion might just be more of a YouTube scam. Uh, it's like dirt. I mean, that's a pretty big claim to say it's a scam. To say it's a scam, it's like those established titles, right? Remember those titles that you could buy? Like on a plot of land in Scotland and it basically just ended up being absolutely nothing? It's kind of pleasant. What? <laughs> And we'll be getting into that. Did he use the AirUp logo to cover his cat? Yeah, he did. I, I got a feeling he doesn't like AirUp. I got a feeling. What is the AirUp? And who are you? And why are you so handsome? Well, howdy, hey. I'm Hippio, and I try things so you don't have to. I really hope he doesn't explain it because, like, how AirUp works is drilled into my brain after the ad read. It's scent activated technology. Oh, it's actually stuck. It's stuck in my brain, bro. It's stuck in my brain. Scent based technology. But in this video, I'm going to be wasting my money on an air up. All of the scent pods. Oh, we got them. You see here, we got the air up. We've got the uh, the little we got the little scent pods here that they sent me. We got all these. We're stacked. We're ready to go. Whoa, that is crazy. Wait, oh. <laughs> What do you mean that's crazy? Oh my god, water but flavor? W what? Is it just for the money or is it genuinely a good product? I mean, it, it would definitely be for the money. Like, if you're being paid to promote a product, you're obviously not going to say negative things about it. I'm figuring out why every time I take a sip from this, I gag. Why did I do that bit? Why is that a good bit? That's not a good bit. This guy might have like hydrophobia or something. He might just actually have like an aversion to water. I have scoliosis just like my water bottle. So with, with AirUp, like my experience working with them, uh, they did pay a lot. They were very annoying to work with. Uh, when we went live with one of our videos, we accidentally put the wrong link in the description for like literally an hour. And because of that first hour, they wanted us to do like a whole another video promoting them for free, just so we got payout. Because when you read these contracts, when you work with sponsors, you realize that you're absolutely screwed. They can like cut the deal at any time. They can go zero payout. If they go broke overnight, broke overnight, then they could just refuse to pay you. That was annoying. They wanted a loss. I'll show you an example here, actually. So you remember these parts where it would cut to me on face cam for like basically no reason, right? Like it was a little bit jarring. They said to me in the video, you can't just shill air up. You can't just do a, a little bit for three minutes saying how great the product is. They didn't want just a promo. They wanted an organic placement three times throughout the video. So they wanted me to cut away to then having the cup in shot because I, I don't know why they wanted that. That was a really annoying and stupid request. We had like some bits of the video that were well edited and we had to basically cut them out just for me to be sat there in a hoodie with my three chins hanging out 
just to be talking about like, you know, a gameplay element. And then this Arab Cup's here because apparently someone in the marketing department found out about like Logan Paul and KSI's Prime. And they thought if they just had it in every shot possible, all the little seven year olds would buy it. That didn't make any sense to me. That was very annoying. That was probably one of the worst experiences I've had with them. But I, I got paid a lot of money. I got paid a lot of money. So I don't know how bad it is. I don't know how bad it is. Also, one thing as well that, that, that was annoying. Uh, they had like a view. They gave me a flat rate. What most sponsors do is they'll give you a, a CPM rate, which means views per thousand. That is a scam. Never do that. They always lowball you. Basically, when you do CPM, you're playing you're playing blackjack at the casino table, right? You will always lose. The house always wins. So yeah, they, they, they wanted the placement and then they offered me a flat rate. So no matter what happens, you will get this amount of money. But then they said as well, which is very intriguing. They go, we have a view guarantee. So if your video goes to a certain amount of views, we'll then pay you extra. Obviously, whenever they do that view guarantee, you will never hit it. You uh, Unless the video goes viral, you will never hit it because they sit there in their meeting room. They look at your channel. They look at their demographics and they purposely plan out to make sure you do not hit that mark. It's enticing, but you will not hit it unless the video Google's randomly goes viral. Strikes. Let's head over to their website and see how much these water bottles cost as they're probably pretty cheap, right? Oh, they are pretty good. expensive. I, I will admit you, that you they are expensive. Probably what what was that cheap, model right? though? I think, what is that? Oh, that's their starter bottle. That isn't even the metal one. Okay, that's pretty expensive. You know what isn't expensive? My merch, guys. That's right, my merch. Look at this amazing merch you could buy. We got the cynical tea. We got the posters. We got the hoodie. We got the website where it, if you scroll too fast, it doesn't load and then it trails off because it's bugged anyway. We got the cute little keychain. It's such great merch, guys. Look at this website. It looks like a PS1 demo disc where you go on the little faces and they change. You will buy this merch now. Right, anyway. Okay, but let's customize my set. Maybe it's... Wait, they also have a steel version. We're gonna need... That, that, that's what I've got. I got, the, I, got the little, I got the little stainless steel version. The Chad version. We're talking $8 for three flavor pods. Right, so he goes on about $8, right? So I've got, I got one here. Uh, peach... Peach iced tea. But what it actually says on the bottom is one pod is five liters. So it's not like, you know, because it, it, if each pod was single use and then you basically thrown it away, that would actually be the worst investment imaginable. But you get five liters. I think this is 850 milliliters. So this is just under a liter. So you can basically fill this up five times and you got to swap the pod. I've used some of the pods for longer than that. And to be fair, it does become a little bit grim, like the, the, the scent, because like, like the way this stuff works is there's no flavor. Flavoring. It doesn't flavor the water. It just releases a smell into your nose. Yeah, the, the, the flavor does go pretty quick, but you will get at least five liters out of it. In total, we were out 140. Eight. That That is a lot of money. You're getting a lot of pods, but also that is a lot of money. And also you would have to keep buying them because it's like an Apple thing with like the lightning cables. Well, until recently, we have to only buy their products. So and let's try it out. Look, it's Nola. She's playing. Kitty. Wow. Helps me drink more water. I get through like two or three of these bottles. Tasty flavors. I never understand this cope. It helps me drink more water. If you are that mind broken that you cannot drink water without adding some kind of flavor to it, you need help. These people that drink like Coke Zero all day and they don't drink water. Like I'll admit, water is boring. It is boring to drink. So what I did is I just drink sparkling water all the time and I, I'm cured. Like I get hydrated and it's like, mmm, mmm, static water, yummy. I don't understand this cope of like water is like, I, I can't ever ever drink water. It always has to be flavored. So I was very excited. I like as well, one thing you probably noticed with YouTube sponsors, like including me, is like they border this very fine line of like irony and like cynicism. Because when he says like, I I'm sucking on it like a guinea pig, that's like, He's fulfilling the brand by saying he enjoys it, but he's also kind of sniding it as well by acting like it's the best thing Great in the world. Nice. And it's not. Woo! Flapper! A lot of you get oh, mad at cats. me because you think I force my cat to be in these videos. Please comment down below who's forcing who. I don't get to choose this. I like how he censored out the cat's asshole in the beginning, but like because he knows we're past the point where the video won't get demonetized because no one at YouTube checks. He just he just blatantly has it. <laughs> First, we have our flavor pods, and this is the most divisive part. Okay, I have. I have, I have, uh, I don't have cherry. Uh, I have, I got mango passion fruit. I got peach iced tea and I got wild berry. So we both have peach iced tea, uh, but I don't have the others. One thing I noticed with AirUp is you can actually, there's actually reviews for their products on the website, like the flavor pods. And some of them actually have like horrendous reviews. Wait, the reviews are really high. I swear one of them got, one of them was like cherry and it got roasted. Okay, that that is actually a little bit odd because last time I was on this website, some of the pods literally had like one star and now they're all like four or four and a half. 
which I think is a little bit sussy. They might they might have actually changed their format here with the uh, with the way stuff is reviewed. I do remember, yeah, yeah, they had Cherry Cola. That's four stars. That's really, really good. Let me see the reviews. Terrible, seven out of 10. The pod is amazing. It tastes like the Cherry Cola drink IRL. That's weird. I don't know. I don't know German. Tastes like petrol and plastic. Absolutely grim. There's a lot of negative reviews, but the fact that it's still basically four stars, that's a little bit weird. Why is there so many five stars? Best air... Oh my God, bro. Were you paid? I do specifically remember going on the website and the Cherry Cola was rated like two stars. Like awful. And now it's jumped up to a four. So, so there might be some fake reviews on there. I think I'm most excited for Iced Tea Peach. Normally... I'm actually amazed that no one has made the joke with Air Up that it's basically vaping. Because you're... What, the, the way it works is like you're you're sucking it in right you're sucking it in to release a flavor that goes into your nose and that technically goes into your lungs so i'm amazed that no one has made a joke about vaping i don't actually see a world where watermelon is going to taste good if it tastes at all okay fair point fair point i think watermelon is like a marmite thing you love it or you or you hate it i hate watermelon i think watermelon tastes disgusting the basic product overview guides that i promise you i'll totally read yeah no, no one reads that i got sent the instruction manual and i instantly threw it in the bin i didn't know how it worked and then i looked up a youtube video so it's going to have to pass every single test that you'd expect of a water bottle that you'd want to use every single day. No leaks, easy to attach to things, which this hook is actually great for. I don't think it needs to be easy to attach to be a water bottle. No leaking, 100%, I agree with that. But I think like having to have it attached to something, I don't really agree with that. But I'm already not very impressed considering this thing looks like it has scoliosis and it also costs as much as a metal water bottle. Yeah, it, it is expensive, but you are buying into a model, right? It's, it's like how men's razors that you show with it's like the body isn't too expensive but then the blades to replace are like really expensive like five times as much as the actual blade but with air up the bottle is expensive and the flavor pods are also expensive but this lid has that silicone finish on it that attaches every bit of dust to it i don't really think that's a problem if it attaches dust like i just always have it with a lid on so i don't really i don't i don't really see much of a problem there as long as you just keep the lid on it when you're not using it i got i got a feeling that that flavor there is going to be absolutely awful like i i, I do want to i do want to make this apparent air up when they sent me the flavors they only sent me like fruit based flavors the most like experimental one they sent me was uh, the peach iced tea and i tried that one first that that one was all right it wasn't like anything amazing but they only really sent me like fruit flavors because i think they were kind of worried that if they send me their like experimental ones like the cola cherry i would have just been like this is awful because even the peach iced tea like like it does taste a bit artificial but the uh the berry ones are, are really nice so you have to open up each one individually and they come in packs of three this is the iced peach tea oh it smells so fake okay sh should we do this should we do this the same time he does it so he just said it smells fake right i've got like uh i got two left in here so if we if we open it you can see it there the little uh little air up with its all its beautiful little microplastics so we, we peel it off healing experience Oh, it's like when you uh, it's like when you peel the screen off a phone. All right, let me smell it. Oh, that that smell actually came straight off. I mean, it does it does smell artificial. It smells like uh, you know, squash when you get squash. I wouldn't say like a sugar free drink. It's like squash, but you know when you smell like pure squash and it's like very overpowering because you're not meant to drink it. Like you know, you're meant to dilute it with water. Because the I don't know if you can see the the flavor the flavor's coming from uh, you see that tiny little hole there at the bottom. That that's where the flavor's coming from. It's. Kind of like you just walked into a Bath and Body Work. Gordon Ramsay violin. You get all the joy of flavor without them pesky calories. Or chemicals or water with... God, they are just made out of soy. Jesus Christ. You know, the human body's like 70% water. They are just 70% soy. I know H-Bummer did a whole video completely debasing the whole like soy testosterone thing. But I'm, I'm just going to say it anyway because it sounds funny. Now, at this point, I'm not going to lie. I started to get pretty scared for what was going to face me once I actually try this thing. <laughs> YouTubers try to not catastrophize something challenge. But they mentioned that all of these are made with natural flavor. Yeah, that's like, uh, I, I drank some of this uh, water for a while called LaCroix. Apparently it was big in America like, a couple years ago. And they say it's like natural flavors. It's sparkling water and they add just natural flavors of like lemon or something. But apparently it's a legal loophole where they don't actually have to disclose what that means or what it is. The Air Up Silver. Now, this is like their more premium Okay, th th this is the one I have. So this is the big boy it. one. I've, 
I've got a black field. one. I got a silver one as well, but I gave it away to a mate. But they're really putting a huge focus on the recycled material thing. Um. Excuse me, how is this eco-friendly? Like, I don't care if you just I, don't. I will be honest as well. This this bottle, like, like I know this is a bit of a shill, and I said it in the sponsor. I did use this bottle. It, it wasn't like a product where I just used it, and I was like, oh, I'm going to throw it away. Like, I don't care about it. I did actually use it for a little bit, because it does, like, it does, like, a 6 out of 10 job at keeping water cool, because I've got, like, a fridge right next to me. But then if I keep a bottle out, it's going to warm up in the room, because, like, my PC and stuff. The only reason I stopped using this is because I now just buy... I like glass bottles of uh, San Pellegrino because I'm like a massive shill. Yeah, I, I, if I didn't do that, I would definitely keep buying this. I, I definitely keep it in the air at bottle. Please don't make the claims that you're eco-friendly and then have this much plastic waste on a recurring basis. I mean, that's a fair point. That's a fair point. I don't know if like any of the plastic is actually recyclable. This, this is recyclable. It does say on the back that you can actually recycle it, which is a fair point. They didn't actually mention anything in the talking points for the ad about sustainability. They just kind of wanted to talk about like the flavor experience in your brain. Why does it feel so much cheaper than my really, really cheap? I don't, I don't think it feels cheap at all. I, th I think it's very, I think it's very stylized. Like, I like, the, I like the style of it. I, I sound like such a shill right now, bro, but, but I like the style of it, genuinely. Especially the black version. The cheap plastic ones that are like $30, $36, they don't look good. I would not buy them, and they're overpriced, 100%. But then, pretty quickly, I started to run into a problem. Because as I was running some tests... That's gonna be a problem, I think. Does your water bottle do that? Is that normal? Okay, maybe it's just the lid... Wait, 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 wait! Does it do that? I mean... To be fair, you're basically holding an open water bottle upside down, right? Okay, this is full of water right now. Should I try it? Should I try it? Oh my god, it does! Did you see that? Okay, that's that's not good product design. Houston, we might have a problem. In Arab's defense, would you have a, an open bottle of water and hold it upside down? I don't think you would. I, I just don't understand why it comes out this end and not on the top. That doesn't make any sense. That's quite bad. That being said, would you really hold an open water bottle upside down? I don't think you would. Okay, what about the blue one? Maybe the blue one is a lot better? No, it's not. Like, like if you did the premium one, th this one's just gonna be even worse. What? But again, though, to be fair, you are holding an open water bottle upside down. You see this here? Th this Arab does come with a lid. I, okay, I do want to admit, if you lost the lid, you are screwed. Uh, I, I, I will totally make a concession to that, definitely. I hope he does show the lid. What if I put the lid on? Okay, okay showing the let's lid. Let's say you just have yep. it upside down for a while. Okay, we'll that, that, that's plausible, right? You stick it in your bag or something, you're traveling, fair enough. Here, we're coming back to that. I, I don't know I don't know why he's like, we'll come back to that. It's like, you put it upside down. I don't think water takes time to settle. <laughs> if you're making an absolute killing on these scent pods that people have to constantly buy why would you skimp so hard on the build quality of your i think i think the build quality is fine but like that was bad i mean this bar looks cool though you know you got the little thing that comes out the little big straw but that like like holding it upside down let me do it one more time i gotta just that's not good dude there is there is water Oh, I've been doing this right next to my PC. I've been doing this right, right, right next to my PC. I've only just re 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 Okay, I, I need to get like a towel. All right, I think I, I think I got, I think I got most of it. Let me sniff the towel. This is me trying air up for the first time. I was genuinely shocked. Okay. I, <laughs> I love Jarvis Johnson. I think he's a great commentary channel. I love that whole scene. You know, uh, Jarvis, Drew Good, and Danny Gonzalez. I mean, soy facing. You didn't need the open expression. You didn't need that. You know, in, in my in my ad read, I was shilling it right. I, I'm being paid. I'm obviously gonna hype up a product, right? Obviously, like I'm not gonna lie about it. And I, and I did genuinely. Use use this product like when I was done with it 100% because it was convenient. I didn't have to keep running and getting a glass of water. I'd usually just drink Fiji water, but that's obviously sat in a plastic bottle and I thought it's sitting in like an aluminium or, or whatever the material is, like a metal container would be better than being sat in just plastic all day, like in my room that gets really hot. I, I didn't soy face. That's the point. Oh, Hippio, you just put the lid on wrong. You need to do it correctly. But no, I tried literally everything. 
I looked at their guide. The hole in the back of the straw is there to make the flavor pods work. I think their quality control is just so bad that there's a gap in the back of their water bottle. We've come back. I don't know about that. I mean, like, it, it is funny that it comes out both sides, but again, you need to turn the bottle upside down. If there was leakage when you have it upright, that's bad. That's a terrible product. They, they did tell me in the ad read specifically, and it does say in the manual, you you can't tip it. You have to, like, keep it straight when you drink it. You have to do, like, because if you tip it, it doesn't like work as well. You can tip it a little bit. It's been about five minutes. Is this lid full of water? So it didn't leak out. However, yes. I mean, he is still holding it upside down while he's unscrewing it, to be fair. So that's like, it's it's going to leak out as soon as you do that. Is. I mean, to, to be fair, in Arup's defense, oh my God, I'm defending a multi-million dollar company. I'm down bad. In Arup's defense, you would not open an Arup cup upside down. You would not do that. Like, like who 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 opens their water like this? No, no one does that. Like, like, okay, okay. Let me let me pour it upside down. Give it a little shake. You can hear. There's definitely still some water in there, right? And then if we quickly open it, right? We'll see. Okay, there's no water in there. There's like a little a little puddle. There's like a little puddle of water there. Like a it's like a little bit of water. I mean, I could try and do it upside down, but we know what's going to happen. It's going to it's going to go everywhere. I'm not doing it in my computer this time, right? And then we unscrew it. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just, it's just going to leak out. But obviously, you wouldn't really, you know, open an air up cup upside down. Let's say it's been in your bag. It's it's been shaken around a bit, right? You, you've stuck it in the bottom of your bag. Oh my god, it's leaking right now. Wait. It might actually be leaking right now. Dude, I'm trying so hard to defend this company. Hang on, hang on. Okay. Let me wipe this clean. Dude, they are never going to work with me ever again. So it's been in the bag. It's getting shaken around a little bit, right? It's it's, it's in your bag right next to all your, your mangas of like uh, Attack on Titan or whatever. Okay. It goes upside down a little bit as well. And then we open it. Is there any water? Okay, there isn't. There isn't. There isn't any water there to be fair. Okay. So it can it can survive the bag test. But even worse, the lid doesn't sit straight. Leaking everywhere. Is is mine? Hang on. Let me to be fair, I got the premium one. He's got like the poor the, the poor people one. To be fair, there is there is I'm not getting any leakage, but he is using like he's using the standard. I'm using like the premium battle pass. For Aerop, they did only send me the highest premium ones. They sent me two of the stainless steel ones. They didn't send me a plastic one. And I'm gonna be trying them for the very first time. Now, of course, I need to try it without any of the scent pods. The way Aerop works with the pods is actually quite odd, and I feel it's going to turn a lot of people off. I'll, I'll wait for him to explain. He might explain it first, but th th there is something very strange about it. If I slurp it, it goes... <laughs> All right, this one does the same thing. Both of them deliver water. Congratulations. The iced tea peach noted that this one smells absolutely terrible. Okay, okay, he's got, he's got the peach. I've got the peach. Let me get this, let me get this, let me get this bad boy on. Oh my God, it leaked again. It leaked again. There's no way. There's no way, bro. I'm 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 literally hyped up on on hopium right now. Let's put the pod on. So like I said in the ad read, you know, you just, you put it down, you give it a little, you gotta, you gotta really, you gotta really press it in. There we go. Now, now the, the way it works with the flavor pod, it is a little bit weird. Okay, so I fully pressed it down, right? To like activate the, the scent based technology. You pull it up so the cap reaches just before the nozzle to pull it off. So you kind of lift it up and then you suck it. And then I get the flavor of peach iced tea. It's not peach iced tea. It's more like peach iced tea, zero sugar. You know when you gotta get that artificial taste in it? It's not like amazing. If you're drinking water all day and you do not want like a single E number or artificial flavor to enter your body, this is good for you. For flavor, I, I gotta give this a, f a like 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 a six out of ten. When you lift it up, you might you might hear like like the little kind of like water bubbling sound. So the the water when you lift it up, it kind of kicks against the back, I think, to release the uh, whatever the the flavoring they've got in there that enters your nose because you don't actually consume any of the flavoring, which is one really good thing about it because it keeps kicking up that flavor. When you do like a full mouthful of water, you're only getting like three quarters, if that makes sense. You're actually like taking in a lot of air instead of like actual water but you're definitely getting like a little bit of air as well so it's it's almost like a little bit awkward i mean it's all right i'll be honest after sparkling water i can never go back but it's, it's all right i feel more thirsty after i drank that than before i drank it this is where i'm gonna get flavor mm. okay so which one is he trying he's trying like the icicle swirl right guaranteed that's gonna be horrible i feel that their fruity flavors are like the best ones and even they're a little bit like eh. They get the job done. They're the workhorse. But like these ones, I think there's definitely a reason why Arup did not send me this flavor. Oh, at this point, the chemicals hit the back of my throat. And oh, no. Oh, my God. This tastes like vomit. 
Oh my god. Okay, he's, he's definitely being a React Andy. I know for a fact that would not be a nice flavor because these already taste a little bit artificial, but that would be like another level. Like, like, like that would be just nothing in that is even real. This is genuinely one of the worst things I've ever tasted. Oh, that was the uh, peach iced tea. Oh no, that was like the one that I thought was all right. Oh, that's good. Now, maybe I was just... I like how he keeps cutting to Try Guys because they were just like, they probably have, they probably own half the company. <laughs> he's being a React Andy, but again, it's, it's a YouTube video. I, I get it. And also he's not being paid by them and he probably knows he's never going to get work from them. So I, I get it. I get it. The thing is like, okay, if you're drinking water every day and you're bored of it, Aerop is probably a good product, right? But again, it's like you could just always have like a Coke Zero or something. But if you don't want to put any chemicals in your body, this kind of makes sense. If the flavor technology here, like through sniffing it, was like absolutely game changing, then I don't think they'd be asking YouTubers to promote their product. I think you would be hearing about this in the news and it would be selling out absolutely everywhere. And then I think like, you know, big drink companies would actually be shitting themselves thinking that, you know, because everyone wants to be more healthy, right? Everyone wants to be more healthy apart from the stuff that I commission. So that's why, you know, instead of Coke, people have Diet Coke or Coke Zero. And then even, you know, all oh, the aspartame, the sucralose, the, there's cancer links, even though there isn't. That That is why people want to be more health conscious. But again, I think it's that point where it's always going to be niche. Like there's a reason why they're asking YouTubers to promote it and not, you know, it's not being sold like everywhere in like every single Walgreens or Tesco's or whatever. Orange vanilla swirl. <laughs> this one will be awful. We know you're going to hate this one, bro. <coughs> like, I'm not insane, right? So I took one and I pried it open with some tweezers and I was expecting like, I don't know, something, but it was literally just a piece of cotton. Oh my God, it is a vape. Bro, I got I got paid by this company. They even have the little coil in it that they put in vapes. It's actually over. I mean, I, I knew there was some kind of like foam in there, right? To like keep all the flavor in of the, uh, that you smell. I grabbed two of my friends. I didn't tell them what we were doing and I surprised them with trying this water bottle. So take a, take a sip of this water bottle real fast. I mean, there's like a little bit of something, I feel like. <laughs> is that supposed to be lemon? It doesn't taste um, like lemon. <laughs> and I don't know if it's good or bad. I it's mean, bad. It's not good. It, yeah. it definitely tastes artificial. I'll agree with that. It, but again, it's like YouTubers are promoting it. So they're obviously marketing it to people that are just sat in front of their computer all day. And, and I'll be honest, I'll be honest, 100% guaranteed. It is so much more healthy for you to be drinking water from an air up and getting like a little bit of enhanced flavor through your nose compared to just like drinking G Fuel or Gamer Subs all day. I, I've been promoted by Gamer Subs as well. I'm even looking into like buying shares into their company. Like I like Gamer Subs. I like the, the fat woman that they, they drew on the cup for me, even though it's too skinny. If water is boring, genuinely boring, I think even having like something that tastes a little bit artificial, it can still be beneficial if you're sat in front of a computer all day and you need to, you know, hydrate in like the most healthy way possible. Or you could be a Chad like me and just drink sparkling water. What would they think of the quality of the water bottles? I mean, why would you tip an open bottle upside down and then get surprised when water comes out? That's one of the things I think in this video is like kind of dishonest because it, it is an open container. Like, wait a minute. If I get a glass of water and tip it upside down, the water leaves the glass. Interesting. Is it good? It's not bad. Wait, really? <laughs> it's over. His entire like, video has like been perfume, debased. It is over, boys. Not... That's terrible. <laughs> Wait, you genuinely think that's good? I don't think it's bad. Are you kidding? I, th I think <laughs> that that is the best takeaway from Air Up. Like, it's not terrible, but it's not like life changing. It's just like, you know, like, like, like me, I'm 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 literally a hermit. Like apart from working out, I never leave the house. And I'm just always in front of the computer, like like uh, scripting or voicing or, uh, you know, doing videos or meetings. So like th this for me is convenient. Would I take this around with me like wherever I go? No, no, I wouldn't. I just go buy like a bottle of water, uh, water from like a corner shop and contribute to, you know, the world ending because of like uh, all the plastic bottles and stuff like that. So I think I think overall it's, it's like a five out of 10 product. But yeah, that was a, that was a very good video by uh, Hippiotech. Seems like a really nice guy. I'll probably drop him a sub actually, but I'm not on my YouTube account at the minute. I'm on like a, an alt account. By the way, can you do the position again on the floor? I was this close to finishing. What is that donut?